paintings that we saw in Yuki were actually quite difficult to understand at first when you're looking at but when you stay a little bit longer and look at the strokes and look at it at a further distance you start to realize there's actually a deep message into it especially the one where there was a mother holding her child and the strokes were very rough and the colors weren't usually the ones they would pick when making a painting but they were able to harmonize together and make and even make it emphasize the message that they wanted to give in the painting. The poster called Talik I think it was actually pretty shocking at first when I saw it because I didn't expect such a provoking poster to be made for a book and it was really just out there. It wasn't hiding anything, it was direct, it was fierce, it was simple and it was absolutely perfect for the kind of message the book they wanted to give. Uh, the writing is on the wall. I didn't pay much attention to it because I thought it was just some random scribbles. So, so but when I got when I got bored, I got to read them and I realized that they were actually some very provoking messages towards the generation of today. Right, at the entrance of the Hosehoya building, um, there were four paintings and each painting depicts um, a story or it seems that each painting is a story of another. It was, it's, it was like a chain of different stories coming from different artists with different interpretations regarding the paintings room there was a hallway full of posters with different illustrations coming from different people and each illustration has different types of genre um, one um, illustration was entitled um, Talik so, uh, right after the um, hallway full of illustrations and posters um, we have there the different um, words um, they were um, lined like a in a spiral form and each word seems like a social deviance deviance against um society so so as i was walking in the entrance of Osehoya little gallery i noticed some painting and abstract and what struck me the most is that it's colorful it's not that vibrant but it's the color are meaningful it pops up the significant lines that we need to see and what i've noticed is that there are little triangles and what i see about it is that it is the main topic or like the the subject of the painting though the painting has a lot of people if you say it far but i believe that the one with bright yellow triangles are like the main character of the, the piece and what I've noticed also is that the pieces that are there are like a series that you have to really understood the, the other so that you will know the story behind them. So as I was walking in a hallway full of posters, I, there is one poster that struck me the most. It's entitled Talik. What I noticed about Talik is that it is very, very evident and timely because now in our society we see um, genders that are both females that are in a relationship or you know a guy and a guy together. So also the the poster is very uh, like very vivid. Like it really shows you what is really happening here in our society. What I admire most when it comes to galleries, especially the Oseti Hoya Art Gallery, is that aside from those artworks, it's not just about the art pieces of the artist, it's all about the people who's viewing it. Because, first of all, the paintings are not really that fixed and it does not really show a direct representation of something. The artist or the viewer itself becomes the artist of the art piece because he's he's the one who's gonna interpret it and it's according of how he experienced life and how he viewed life and that's the thing about art galleries you you become the artist in you 
So one thing that I noticed when we went inside the Jose Hoya Gallery is that most of the paintings there, no, not most, all of the paintings that were there at that moment were abstract paintings, meaning it didn't really have a clear uh, image of what the artist wants to portray or wants the, uh, the spectators or the watchers or the audience to uh, understand. It really got me thinking what the artist really felt about as he or she made the Other than the big uh, square room that they had for their paintings, they also had this hall, uh, made, or their hall also had a, uh, a series of uh, posters displayed made by females, mostly females, because it was entitled there something about feminism. The uh, Look Here exhibit. So the exhibit is entitled Look Here, which features graphic designs of women from all over the country. They are all UP graduates, UP fine art graduates. And there were, it's actually a variation of graphic designs from book covers to brandings to um, even just uh, coffee table designs. Uh, it was all there.